this lesson, we want to explain the most important lesson in Moho. It's a bone. We want to introduce the bone system in this <clears throat> lesson and then go uh, learning more and more. This is on bone. When you select a bone, you can control your 3D character symbol. As you can see, it's a <clears throat> dial bone that you can control everything in your character. Nice. Let's begin with a simple scene and create our first bone and let's see. For example, this is a simple character R. Bring it there. This is our simple character R. And we want to, uh, for example, bend it with the bone. As I said before, for bending, we need more points. If you, we have two <coughs> methods for bending or adding the bone to your character. We have a vector or we have an image. So I insert a simple image. As you can see, this is a JPEG. This is a vector. And this is a pixel. And this is vector. I can select this vector, select that, and just turn off the stroke for a moment. Nice. As you can see, we have two things. First, uh, <clears throat> simple bone JPEG B and the simple vector layer that we want to add a bone to them and control them. Okay, first begin with uh, this layer. This is a layer that you can centralize the origin of that. For add a bone, we have two ways to do that. The simplest way is this, or a regular way. Here we have a bone like a particle, as we said before, we have a bone uh, folder. This is a bone system. That's you. If you want to assign this layer to the bone, you have to click and drag it under a bone. And as you can see, if you select a layer, we have a, a regular tool. And if you click the bone layer, we have a bone tool here. So this is the first way. Another way you can delete this bone, you have to right click group fits a uh, selection. It means we add a folder to the, this layer that we want to bond. You can do with that also. Then right click and here you can convert this folder to the bone. This way is better because in sometimes we have a lot of layer <clears throat> that we want to create bone folder and we cannot select all of them and drag under the bone layer. Right click convert to the bone and now we can add a bone to the this layer also okay add a bone here first tool that you learn add a bone a it's very simple click and drag don't forget click and drag to create your first bone it's a new version and the bone are smaller and regular size. So I create a uh, layer vector here. <clears throat> create a layer vector here. And before adding the bone, as I said before, you have to go to select the points. Select with a rectangle point, these points and these points, or these points first and split, split to add a more point. Be careful about the adding uh, <clears throat> points because as I said before if you want to bend something in the tools uh, bending you need more point you can refer to previous lesson and you can split it more time here and sometimes when we want to adjust the points the lots of points cause a lot of problems be careful about that and <clears throat> split your uh, objects carefully Okay, and this is our object and it's in, in its layer, set the origin. You don't need to do that, but for cleaning way, you can do that. Uh, right click, group it, 
and add this folder to the bone and we are creating a bone you can click and drag to create first bone then it's automatically at snap to uh, end of that point and you can click and drag it again and this is our bone and it's automatically uh, bind with the this layer it's automatically we use this bone menu uh, um, a lot it's automatically use flexibine layer it's <clears throat> binding the bones to the that layer automatically and you learn first tool add bone with for for selecting your bone you have to select the point select bone you can select bone here for changing uh, manipulate bone it means you can select that tool and just click and drag yeah as you can see we doing our first bone here <clears throat> and as you can see each bone has a region that affects the object around it and we can control these strengths by here bone strings you select it with click and drag you can make it a smaller to affect as you can see if it's a big uh, we have a, uh, <clears throat> these issues here as you can see in this interpolation intersection here because this bone affect this part this bone intersect to the other bone and we have a such a these problems so we can uh, select all of the bones select all of them like this Go into their strengths and click and drag and make them a little bit like this <clears throat> and then select this point as you can see our issues uh solving a little okay you learn your first point actually rigging okay uh, now i have to tell you the first problem to solving this first problem okay <clears throat> to solving that we have to use create a smooth joint for bone pair if we have two bone it's automatically correct that issues you have to learn it for doing that you have to select the two bones that you two bone that you want to correct the issues in between them select the bone and we want to correct the issues in between two bones with which layer you have to tell the software then select that you you don't need to select sh holding <clears throat> shift you select the layer that you want to correct after you're selecting the two bones and going to the bone and as you can see create a smooth pair is turned on and done it's automatically solving that for you going to the bone folder to bring the tools go into the manipul select it and as you can see that issue will be correct nice this software is um, interesting <clears throat> okay in this way you bone the vector layer let's bone another um, layer that is pixel this is a vector for a vector you need to the point for the pixel the software doing everything automatically with, uh, for you because in a pixel image we don't have any points we are we have pixel pixel so we insert another image okay we insert an image and this is our, our image bone and can select it in its tools select the layer and bring it smaller this is a layer that's this is an, a pixel image this is a pixel this is not vector this is a pixel and we want to doing the same way for <clears throat> rigging the pixel for example you insert a vector file like a ai or affinity designer illustrator Corredola, or you can insert a photoshop psd uh, objects that are not vector so for rigging that you can do the same click and drag it outside of the bone be careful about that <clears throat> we want to another bone system right click 
um, group bit selection to create a folder of that and we can convert that folder to the bone and the bone tool are here you can add a bone to that click and drag it's automatically a snap it to click and drag you can continue but it's automatically binding the bone with the, this layer that we selected and let's try it and as you can see it's automatically bone and everything is correct if we have an object that has no <clears throat> point in a vector you face this issue and then you can correct exactly like before for example in this you can change the strings of uh, bone it's simple you can select it oh you have to select it like this and then click and drag it I think that's an issue okay and uh, for example we have a layer here that uh, has no point let's what's what's cause the problem <clears throat> Uh, we're doing this fast group with selection then convert it to the bone then add a bone to that click and drag automatically accept at the end of the other point and go to the manipulate fast and as you can see we have these problems because we don't have any enough point to breaking this vector and bending that okay so we with the vector we have this problem but we don't have this problem for a pixel objects and you can simply convert it and you can use uh, this tool that i said before um, uh, create a smooth joint for binding you can as i said before you can uh, select uh, <clears throat> with the uh, select bone you can select all of them and the, with the layer that you have and you can create a smooth and then going back to the bone system manipulate it select it and you can correctly doing that or you can fix that issues later <clears throat> so you learn how to use the uh, bone system so we can bone in vector or image so uh, let's a uh, little talk about the other bone system for example you can i draw a simple bone here a simple bone here to just uh, giving you another example <clears throat> click and drag click and drag or you can click and drag somewhere else very nice this is our bone you can go to the manipulate and uh, you can select all of them you can click and drag go to the strings make them zero to better seeing that <clears throat> this default system for the bone as you can see if i change that they are connecting to each other because of this tool mm. parent tool as you can see you can see these bones are connecting to each other you can add a simple vector layer and delete it to better cleaning our <clears throat> system and you have to right click convert it to the group this can be empty no it's not important just i want to explain it convert to the bone and you can use a bone here <clears throat> so you learn you can uh, add a bone you can add a bone here or somewhere else and you can continue and then you can manipulate it and as you can see you can move the point and because of that this is an inverse kinematic this system is inverse kinematic if you select it you can select the layer at the, <clears throat> the bone after that and you can affect the bone before that layer this is an inverse kinematic if you are holding alt and then click it this is fk ik and fk forward kinematic the, in a forward kinematic you can just affect the bones after that okay it's sometimes useful if you don't holding alt this is an ik it's affect whole bone system so you learn difference between ik and fk <clears throat> it's very easy forward kinematic if holding alt 
using manipulate holding alt it just affect the uh, object that are after that bone nice interesting but he's holding alt it's very important <clears throat> nice and don't forget if you editing your bone be in a zero position of the timeline if you go into the one we have a different tool be careful of that and the tools are behavior and i want to give you a simple another lesson <clears throat> go to the strengths make it zero i want to explain a reparent tool for example select elsewhere select this to deselect for example i create a bone here and we want to understand the relationship between them. This is a root bone. If you select it, this is a root bone. If you change it, you can change all of the system. But you have to, we have to understand the relationship between the no bones. For doing that, you can turn on the a reparent bone and as you can see you can see the relationship with the bones and this is an another bone that has no relationship to bones this bone is related to the bone before um, previous bone and this bone is related to the that and so so this is a relationship between that and this tool do a main job that is it reparent you can reparent it you can select this you you have to first select the bone that you want to reparent or <clears throat> parent it connect it to the other bones because this bone is a uh, long and you can reparent it reparent to what mm. for example i want to reparent to that and as you can see this bone is connecting directly to the this or you want to reparent it to the this simple this bone is reparent to that bone. so you can choose relationship to your bone and let's test it for example i change it change this and change this nice can holding alt as you can see these are parenting to each other another tool that you can use is the transform bone for a transform bone you can rotate it this is manipulate or you can make it a bigger or a smaller nice you can transform it means you can rotate it in this direction but in a manipulate you can just move it the different this is a transform tool, it's easy. And as you can see, because this connecting to the dent, it's moving together. You learn it more, we give you a lot of example to understanding, don't worry, but you learn the basics. And you can reparent your... Okay, for other tools, you're going to the other lessons. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release